Hello and welcome to my eighth ever Talk To Me Tuesday. I did not post a video last week because a bunch of projects hit me at once, grades were due, and it was a generally crazy week. But I am back, I survived, and I'm looking so forward to spring break in now less than two weeks. So excited. Desperately need that break. So, uh, for my 8th Talk to Me Tuesday, I don't have too much to show because I'm sure as you caught the gist of, last week was not hugely productive on the crafting line. But I have a few things. Um, this weekend, while I was working on... Um, a big project for my grad school classes. I tried to make sure that I took breaks, so I'd like work for an hour, take a break, work for an hour, take a break, and found that I got a lot done that way. So during one of my breaks, I took a sewing break, and I did a couple more quilt blocks. So I mean, they don't wobbly camera. They're not anything special. They're it's the same design as last time, but I have one that is the pink border with the blue triangles or trapezoids as they are, and one with the colors inverted. So, you know, two blocks closer to a finished quilt front, but it's going to be a while, and I don't think that I'm going to have it finished by spring break. I really hope that I would, but maybe by the end of spring break, maybe. Um, I don't have any crazy awesome plans for spring break, sadly. I was this close to buying a ticket to London, but I didn't. Way too expensive. Um, so, anyway. That was my almost awesome adventure. But one other thing that I can sh that I have to show is um, our school library has this thing called Premier Books. I guess it's a it's a company. I don't know if you guys have heard of it before. If anybody's worked in the school systems, but the the company you know I don't know with how their agreement with the school works, but you know every so often we get like a little display in the back room like where the laminating machine is and where the die cut machine is. And teachers can go back there and check out the products that are being sold. And it's random things. Like they had one of the topsy turvy tomato planters, they had a coin sorter, books, you know, kids' craft kits, weird collection of things. Not sure what the rhyme or reason is. But I went to check them out last time they were around. I guess it was a couple weeks ago. So I was hoping to find something for my dad's birthday. I did not find anything for his birthday, but I did find this book. God's Beliefs and Ceremonies Through the Ages, and, okay, so you're probably thinking, this is not crafty, why do we care? Um, first of all, in its own right, is an awesome book, because I love reading about different religions, and it has awesome illustrations, and, but, the, what really made me excited is if you look, there are 13 step-by-step -step projects inspired by the past, so, each different religion that they talk about in the book, they have... Oh gosh, I mean, they've got everything. The ancient Egyptians, the Greeks, Romans, Native Americans, in Hindu religion, Buddhist religion. Obviously, they don't enc encapsulate every single religion that there ever was, but some of the major ones, shamans, spirits in North America, the Vikings, the Celts, but every religion has a different project associated with it. So, let's see, for instance, what was a really cool one they had? Um, well, let's see. If while you're reading about the gods of ancient Greece, you can also make your own mini Parthenon. So it has step-by-step -step instructions. So it's part history, part craft, two of my favorite things in the world. And they're fun. I mean, you know, for festivals and ceremonies in India, you can make your own tabla drum. You can make a garland necklace. You know, I'm not sure when I would be able to use these. Obviously, I would, you know, I would love to do them just for giggles, but um, you know, it would just be so great for like a an elementary or middle school art class, or you know, I don't know if if ever I get to teach some kind of world literature, you know, from from my lips to God's ears, this would be awesome because these because my kids I know love to do projects and love to work with their hands and it'd be so much fun to like do a a crafty project while reading and learning about you know, something like religion that influences you know, literature in so many different ways. So I thought that was really, really, really cool. And maybe I will do a few projects from it. We will see. So there's that. 
Um, I said this is my eighth Talk to Me Tuesday. This is actually my ninth Talk to Me Tuesday. I'm so off. I apologize. My allergy meds have got me a little loopy. So it's my ninth Talk to Me Tuesday, and I thought that for my tenth Talk to Me Tuesday, which will be next week, I hope, I would. I wanted to do. I wanted to have some way to show all of you who who watch this on a semi-regular basis how much I appreciate being a part of this Talk to Me Tuesday community, and. Um, the best way that I could think of to do that was by a secret, super secret fandom drawing. Now that sounds probably a lot more awesome than it actually would be, but I've seen people do. I've seen some of you guys do drawings on here before, and I thought that would just it would be really fun. I mean, I love drawings, and you know, if you win, you get something in the mail. What's not to love about mail? Really, let's be serious here. So, um, what I thought I would do is I have a riddle that I will pose to you today. And if you would like to be entered for the drawing, you will need to comment on this entry with your answer. And if you get it right, I will put your name in a bowl of some sort. I'm looking around right now. I'm not really sure what kind of bowl. Maybe I'll put it in my Santa mug. And I'll do a drawing next week for a super secret fandom prize and by fandom I mean fandom of your choice not mine because our fandoms might be different and that's cool I like learning about new ones so something to think about and I hope you'll enter but you know don't don't feel obliged I would still love to get the regular CNC from everyone but so my riddle for you is one that I feel like most of you are going to recognize you strike me as being very well read folks and geeky to boot so you know, that's awesome. If you know it, I'm not trying to trick you. I just thought I should throw some kind of little gimmick in there. So, your riddle, should you choose to accept my challenge, is 30 white horses on a red hill. First they champ, then they stamp, then they stand still. Yes. Striking any chords? Tolkien lovers? Come on. So, if you'd like to be entered for a super secret fandom drawing, post your answer to the riddle, and I will have a drawing next week. I hope you guys have a great one and are staying, you know, I would say cool. It's hot down here. Staying out of the pollen. Good luck with that. Any tips? Pass them along. Have a great week. Bye.